Good evening everyone, and it's lovely to be here once again, well actually not here once again, but it's all there, it's in the old cross space, which is sad that we uh, don't have it, but this is a great space instead. Um, I've been on council for 15 years and I've lived in Wellington for just over 20, having come from Christchurch, um, and I have to say that last weekend's events uh, were a significant distraction, so I still have a lot of relatives down there, including my elderly dad, who got thrown around quite unpleasantly by the earthquake. But I came up here um, to study journalism, and so I have a connection, firstly, with Mount Cook, and I see some Mount Cook mobilised residents here, um, because I went to what was known as the Polytech, and I did the 12-month journalism course there when I first came up. And in order to help me get through that year, I had a part-time waitressing job in Mount Victoria, which is the other connection. And it was in a restaurant that I seem to recall was called the Omar Khayyam. And it was in the back of the Embassy Theatre, and he went through all sorts of strange corridors and up into the back of the theatre, and it was a Middle Eastern restaurant. And it was my first introduction to Middle Eastern food, I might add, because Christchurch was not nearly as cosmopolitan as Wellington in those days, but I'd never tasted the least of food, and it was divine, and I love it. Still. So that was kind of my connections with both Mount Cook and Mount Victoria when I first came here. Subsequently, I moved to the Arrow Valley, and I've been there for nearly 20 years, and, um, and I love it there. So, I got elected to council 15 years ago, and it was about the time that um, John was talking about how Wellington started to change, and uh, that was in the days when Mark Lomsky became the mayor, and there was a lot of changes going on because we had things like our district plan that we had to put together, which was an entirely new way of looking at planning, <coughs> and that made a significant difference to the way things were done around this town, and I have to say that not all of it was good, in fact some of it was pretty appalling, uh, so we made some, some further changes to, uh, to those sorts of planning regimes that we had in place in those days, which were far too liberal, and saw a lot of infill housing that was appalling. As uh, a result of the kind of attitude that was around 15 years ago, um, where Mount Victoria was being decimated by developers and a lot of wonderful old buildings were being pulled down, I worked with the then um, president of the Mount Victoria Residents Association, Craig Palmer, and uh, some of my colleagues on council to get the demolition rule in place, and Mount Vic was the first place to have the demolition rule. And that has gone some way to halting, but perhaps not far enough, some way to halting the, um, the appalling kind of developments that have happened in Mount Victoria and, and slowed things down. So yes, I've been around for a while. This coming term, I have an interesting project that I'm really keen on um, seeing move along. And for those of you that have already had my flyer, you will have found a little packet of seeds in your flyer, and you probably think, what on earth is this woman on about? It's a project that I'm calling Edible Wellington, and the idea is that we plant a lot of edibles around the city in the public spaces. And I'm really keen on this idea for a range of reasons. It wasn't my idea, I have to say. We actually had a young man come to council a few months ago with a petition um, that he had started up actually asking for us to do this. And it was the first I'd really heard of this concept, even though I was aware that there are some fruit trees and various other bits and pieces around the city. What, and, what grows? What grows from these three seeds? What grow, well, it depends <laughs> what sort of seed you have. But what you will have, I can tell you, is you will have a type of vegetable seed. And it will depend what you've got there, but we can go into that. You can ask me questions about that later. So uh, the more I thought about this, the more I thought, what a rather charming idea to have a lot of fruit trees in public spaces, um, curves in public spaces, vegetables, and so on and so forth. One minute. Oh, my goodness, you're joking. <laughs> okay, right, very quickly. So um, I'll, I can, I'll talk about that a little bit more in my leaflet. I was going to go into a great deal of detail about it. But I do think it's a delightful idea. It addresses the issue of food miles. It addresses the issue of chemical additives in our food. It addresses the issue of um, the increasing desire of people to, um, to eat produce that's produced locally. And we're seeing a lot of um, farmers markets um, cropping up around Wellington, um, community gardens cropping up around Wellington. It also addresses the issue of those who are on really low incomes and who are reliant on food banks. And you'll probably maybe not be aware that the food banks generally only can carry food that is either um, 
uh, canned food or dry food. And so people who are reliant on food banks are suffering a range of third world ailments because they're not getting fresh produce. So this is a way that people can access through our fresh produce as well. It would also be a point of difference for Wellington. Um, and if uh, anybody thinks that perhaps Wellington is starting to flail around and our creative um, thing isn't working anymore, well, here's a, another idea as well. Time. Sorry. <laughs>